Hi, I'm Steve Vonderhaar, Senior Analyst with Wayne House Research. Excited to be joining you today to talk a little bit about how changes in hybrid work patterns are impacting the adoption of online business video. Our thanks goes out to the team at VBRIC for sponsoring this presentation, which features results from a survey of more than 2,000 corporate executives conducted by Wayne House Research in the fourth quarter 2021. And in that survey, we saw that the adoption of streaming viewership uh, is increased substantially substantially during the pandemic period. Of those we surveyed, 47% reported that they watch online business video at work for at least an hour per week. And those results for 2021 far outstripped uh, the usage levels we saw in 2020 when 37% reported hourly and at least an hour of business video viewership weekly. And in 2019, that total was 33%. So what we can see is that during the pandemic in particular, we've seen a substantial increase in how organizations are employing one-to-many video to enhance business communications. And not only are individuals watching more video while at work, organizations are actually producing more live video events as well. In 2021, a cumulative 40% saying that they use live video in 50 or more events annually. That At the top of this chart, that's the 18% producing 100 or more productions annually and the 22% producing between 50 and 99 live video events annually. Now that's substantially greater than what we saw in prior years. And if you go all the way back to 2017, you saw only 26% of organizations producing video at this rate. So clearly we have a situation that if you create that video, individuals will watch it. Now here's where our survey results get really interesting, particularly in a world where more organizations are authorizing employees to work on a hybrid basis, part-time out of their home, part-time in the office. It really seems like those individuals who are straddling these two work worlds rely on video and one-to-many streaming more so than any other group. As we can see in these results reporting uh, the levels of, of each group that use or watch online video at least an hour per week, Mostly across the board, it's about 40 to 45 percent. But look at that spike among hybrid workers 60 percent, six out of 10 hybrid workers reported that they watch one to many video uh, at least an hour weekly. And what this implies is that, or as organizations begin embracing hybrid policies on a more frequent basis, uh, you know, allowing more individuals to work in this manner, the demand for video will increase in step. So the survey results are pretty straightforward as we look forward to a world where more individuals are going to be working remotely. There's going to be a greater need for comprehensive strategies for enabling video for both workers behind the corporate firewall working in a centralized office and their peers working remotely. So now is the time for organizations to really step back and instead of uh, just throwing the video solutions against the wall and hope that something sticks, really develop a comprehensive overall strategy strategy for implementing video that works at scale. And uh, the folks at VBRIC have teamed with Wayne House uh, to commission a white paper talking about some of the issues and considerations that organizations should think about when uh, implementing video solutions at scale. You can download that white paper for free at the link below, www.vbrick.com slash hybrid work. Our thanks goes out once again to VBrick for sponsoring this video and the associated white paper. Remember, you can download it at vbrick.com slash hybrid work. For VBrick and Wayne House Research, I'm Steve Onderhaar. Thanks for your time.